Hello and welcome to a Strachan tutorial video. In this video I will show and explain some basic mesh reinforcement modeling steps. Different mesh reinforcement options can be found in the mesh toolbar area. The laying option defines a laying field that is related to a specific surface. Options regarding the mesh laying include choosing the reinforcement category and selecting the mesh type. Both can be chosen from the list that is editable in the administration settings. Rear surface option is useful when the rear surface of some object is not easily selectable. Concrete color can be defined for the longitudinal and transverse edges as well as for the area. When defining the length field, we choose the area, the edge and the corner that the length field is related. Different selections result in different laying fields. The meshes are always perpendicular to the edge that we selected. Before confirming the laying, we can st still modify some parameters, such as mesh overlap or the remnants. We can also turn on or off the offset lane option and swap the longitudinal transverse direction of the meshes. We confirm the lane by right clicking. All of the previously mentioned options can also be edited subsequently using the edit meshes options. The display of meshes can also be changed. Two options are available, either as detailed mesh or as a simple mesh outline. With detailed display, we can see the, uh, the effect of the option to swap the position of longitudinal bars. Bending meshes function can be used when bent meshes are needed, for example this slab with curved edges. We can further define an individual mesh where measurements of the mesh are predefined by the user. Free meshes can be used to create a field of one or more meshes with user-defined dimension. These meshes do not need to be connected to any surface or edge, but they also cannot be edited later using the previously shown functions. Using the free lane function, we can define a lane field that is connected to a surface, but still of any arbitrary shape. If we enable the option Lane with a connection to the surface, we can still use any of the previously explained options to edit this field. 